everyone. Thanks for joining today. You know, I've been doing reading in the Bible lately, and I came across a passage in 1 John um, chapter 2, verses 1 and 2 that got me really thinking. So I thought I'd share this with you today. I think this is uh, an incredibly important message, and many are overlooking it. So what the verse says is, My dear children, I write this to you so that you will not sin. But if anyone does sin, we have an advocate with the Father, Jesus Christ, the Righteous One. He is the atoning sacrifice for our sins, and not only for ours, but also for the sins of the whole world. So let's break that down. We're talking about grace and man. It's a game changer. Picture this. God, in all his awesomeness, looks at us messy, imperfect humans and says, You know what? I love you anyway. Well, that's grace in a nutshell. It's this mind-blowing concept where God forgives us for all the times that we've messed up, all because of what Jesus did on the cross for us. But here's where things get a little bit tricky. Some people out there think that they're okay. They've got this idea that grace is like a free pass to do whatever they want. They're like, hey, Jesus took care of my sins, so uh, I'll just keep on living however I please, right? Well, hang on a second. Pump the brakes on that thought and really think about this. Is that really how it works? Does grace give us a license to go out and do whatever, whenever, with no consequences? So let's break it down a little bit further. Picture this. You're faced with the challenge. It's like trying to solve a puzzle where the pieces, they don't quite fit together the way that you thought they would. Well, that's what grace is like sometimes. It's this beautiful, mysterious thing that we struggle to fully grasp. You see, grace isn't just a magic wand that makes our problems disappear. It's not a quick fix. It's not a band-aid that we slap on our mistakes and call it a day. No, grace is something deeper, something more profound. It's about digging into the messy, complicated parts of ourselves and finding redemption and renewal. So here's the deal. We've got this challenge on our hands, and it's a big one. We need to wrap our heads around the fact that grace isn't just a get-out-of-jail-free card. It's way more than that. It's about more than just getting forgiven. It's about making some serious changes in our lives because of Jesus. Everything like pornography, alcohol abuse, drug use, even putting your career above all else, those are all forms of habitual sin. Now, many times I've seen members of the LBGTQ community saying that they feel like they're safe because... Jesus died on the cross for our sins. So even if they're committing a sin, living their lifestyle, it's been forgiven and taken care of according to Jesus. Well, what they don't understand is Jesus didn't set out to just wipe the slate clean and allow us to keep right on sinning. Think about it like this. When Jesus came into the world, he didn't just come to forgive our sins and call it a day. No, He came to turn everything upside down, to transform us from inside out. And that's what grace is all about. It's about embracing that transformation, about letting go of our old ways and stepping into a new life that Jesus offers us. So yeah, grace is a challenge. It's a challenge to let go of our pride and our self-reliance. It's a challenge to admit that we can't do this on our own, that we need Jesus to come in and change us from the inside out. But you know what? It's also the most incredible opportunity we'll ever have. It's a chance to experience true freedom and joy, to live the life that God created for us to live. And that, my friends, is worth every bit of the challenge. Now, let's delve a little deeper into uh, the verse from 1 John. It's like a hidden treasure chest full of wisdom just waiting to be unlocked. 
Here's the deal. John paints this incredible picture of Jesus as our advocate, our champion in a heavenly courtroom. He's like the best lawyer you could ever ask for, always in your corner, always rooting for us, and always ready to defend us before God. But here's the twist. John doesn't stop there. He goes on to remind us that Jesus isn't just our lawyer. He's also the one who paid the ultimate price for our mess-ups. He took on the weight of our sins, the burden of our mistakes, and he carried it all the way to the cross. That's how much he loves us. So here's the kicker. That doesn't give us a free pass to keep messing up. It's not like we can just do whatever we want and expect Jesus to bail us out every time. No, there's more to it than that. See, grace isn't a license to sin. It's a call for transformation. It's an invitation to leave behind our old ways and step into a new life that Jesus has for us. So yeah, Jesus is our advocate, our defender, our champion, but he's also our guide, our mentor, our example. And if we truly want to follow him, we've got to be willing to walk the walk, not just talk the talk. So buckle up now, because we're about to dive deep into what grace really means. You know, it's easy to toss around the word grace, like it's just another religious buzzword. But when we really stop and think about it, when we really grasp what grace is all about, it changes everything. You see... Grace isn't some fluffy concept that makes you feel warm and fuzzy inside. It's a game changer. It's the difference between a life of bondage and a life of freedom. It's the key that unlocks the door to a whole new way of living. So, let's get real for a minute. When we truly understand grace, it's like a light bulb goes off in our heads. Suddenly, we realize that it's not just about saying sorry and then going back to business as usual. It's about so much more than that. Grace is about making a real, honest-to-goodness change in our lives. It's about turning away stuff that trips us up, the stuff that holds us back, and stepping into the fullness of life that God has for us. It's about living in a way that shows we're serious about following Jesus, about walking the walk, not just talking the talk. So grace just isn't a simple word that's about forgiveness. It's much more deep than that, and it's much more divine than that. So if you made it to this part of the video with us, I would like nothing more than if you were to join us in a prayer here as we wrap things up today. Father, thank you for the Bible you've given us to use as a guide for our daily lives. Thank you for giving us the scriptures that can answer any question that we have that sets us on the right path. Father, bless those who have not met you and bless those who have met you but don't know you and bring them into your loving arms. Use us as tools to go out and spread your message to bring as many to you as we can. Father, be with our Jewish brothers and sisters in these difficult times as the situation in Israel grows more tense every day. Give us the power of discernment so that we know how to use the Bible to tell us when things that we are doing are not right and what to avoid. Father, as usual, please protect us from the evil one. In Jesus' name, amen.